a bottle of rum. Where's that treasure back? Arg, what's up everybody? It's the Pirate Stacker coming at you. Me and my pal One-Eyed Willie. Yeah. Good to see you guys today, TGIF. Thank goodness it's Friday. Yes, we have a funky angle. <laughs> uh, I'm trying to get all this in, which is very tough to do. Today, we are talking copper, copper, and more copper. Yes. If any of you have followed me for a while, let's see if I can get it to stand back up. If any of you have followed me for a while, I have been preaching copper since the very beginning. In fact, some of you have even let me know that I got you into copper, which I'm proud of. We were visionaries. <laughs> Before we get all that started, let's take a shot. I do want to give a shout out to my pal, Chief Stacker. He sent me a package. We're going to be doing a video with Little Pirate. He sent her so many cool gemstones and crystals and things. She is over the moon about that. We'll get that video done this weekend, but drink them if you got them. It's the weekend. Let's have some fun. Cheers, guys. Mmm. Yes. Goes down smooth. All right, today I'm talking copper. Copper. This is only a fraction of my stack. What has copper done lately? Well, copper is currently $4.76 a pound roughly. That's incredible because only a year ago, less than a year ago, is it two bucks a pound. Uh, that is a huge jump. If silver doubled, more than doubled in a year, we would be freaking out right now. Uh, so that's astounding. And copper only has one way to go. That is up. Uh, it has a ton of uses. We love it. And today I just thought I'd share some of my copper with you. It's been a while since I pulled it out. This isn't even all of it. This is probably two thirds of it maybe. Rick Cheek, he's one of the guys I collect early. I started early on with him and I still love his pieces. I've sold some of his pieces, but uh, he just does incredible work. Rick Cheek. He's also uh, on Instagram as Silver Coast Copper. And uh, that guy, his work is astounding. The colors he creates in his bars are incredible. He does the Clydesdale. I've talked about him a bunch of times. But I've got copper from all over the place and I love having it to look at. Now this is actually a really cool piece. This was from Chief Stacker to me. Uh, he did this Navy bar. My son is in the Navy and uh, it's just got a really cool color to it. I love the bars. I love the variety. I love the different colors you get from it. You know, these are old Rick Cheek loafs. He did these early on. They're just neat. You get different shapes. You get different feels. It feels good in the hand. I love seeing stamp stuff. That's very cool. You know, it's just one of those things. It's very neat. Uh, this was an early one. Triple P, when he first came onto the scene, gave me this big bad boy. It's a nice press bar, a one kilo. Very cool. Shout out to him for that. Uh, you know, a lot of these I've gotten from you guys. Prepper Jack poured me this cool Aztec. Super neat. Uh, you know, the, the list goes on and on. This was my first Rick Cheek piece. Look at that, mirror finish, you see me? Handsome devil, yes. And it's a it's a beautiful piece. You know, this stuff is really awesome. This was heads or tails living. Won that in a golf from him. And the neat thing here too is you get so many different stories. Uh, this one here, Will's Treasures. He sent me this thing he poured. I actually think I have a couple of Will's Treasures. Uh, that guy, incredible. Great member of the community, look at that. Right up a pirate's alley, huh? <laughs> Beautiful piece, love it, love seeing it stamped. I mean, this is stuff that'll stay in the collection forever, you know? Oh, uh, and you can't leave out, Bionic Fishy Fish hooked me up with a Geiger Loaf. It is stunning, 
Beautiful, the only one in plastic. I still don't know why I do it, but everyone else does, so that's what we do. <laughs> Not to mention, we've got all kinds of flip pennies and stuff. You know, pennies, they're the easiest way to stack copper, especially for a cheap, cheap price, you know? I've got, I can't even lift this jar. I've got a huge jar back here. Oh, these are just ones I searched. But I got 50 bucks, 100 rolls of copper pennies stashed away. I mean, this is, that's, man, it's so fun. That's all I can really say. Uh, these were some stuff I got from Marvelous Metals back in the day. This actually led to me getting my pirate copper rounds done uh, from Marvelous Metals. Man, so much history. I don't, I don't know if you guys got them or not, but uh, I still got, I got them floating around here in different bags and kits. It's pretty, pretty cool. Look at that. That was my old pirate cop around. If you got one of these, let me know. Done by Marvelous Metals, super cool. One of the earliest bars I got. Silver Scorpion hooked me up with this five pound monster. <laughs> yeah. That really actually was what kicked me off. I was into copper, that got me really into copper, and it's just one of those things that's grown from there. Uh, I got a Lake House Beach treasure map round. Look at that, they're just cool. So, copper, what do I think about it? I think it's going up in value, look. I've been saying it forever. Get it any way you can, it's cheap. Copper is silver. 30 years ago. It's going up, it continues to go up. Everyone's like, you have a pirate, you're crazy. Why would I waste my money on copper? It's not worth it. Well, guess what guys, copper has a premium. You can't buy copper for spot. It just doesn't happen. So everybody pays the premium. It's just like fractional gold or fractional silver. People pay the premium. Ah, yes. There's another silver scorpion one. Very cool. Man, you guys are too good to me. Honestly, I looked through this stuff and the history of it. I mean, you guys are just phenomenal. Phenomenal bunch of everybody. My pal SHTF hooked me up with those SHTF rounds. Look at that. Scrapping, hoarding, tinkering, fun. Beautiful work, stamped on the back as well. It's just, it's my, what's not to love? This is my favorite stuff. Patriot Stacker gave me this bar early on in his pouring. Uh, we got some more Will's treasure going on here. Man, Will, Will has done some of the most awesome stuff. I love his, his things. I think he sandcasts this stuff, but you know, we got the skeleton, we got some arrowheads. And I'm gonna be giving some of this stuff away here. I, you know, I wanna give, uh, I wanna get some back to the community. I got this awesome thing I won here too. This was a Lady, Lady J? <laughs> lady, Lady Bullion, that's who it was. That's her copper round from a couple of years ago, 2020. Very cool. And so we get these cool pieces and uh, the value goes up. For me, this is my collection. I try to not collect silver, I try to collect copper. And I know that might sound stupid to some of you, but Wolf56, we did a, a trade. My channel bar for his. Very cool. So, I mean, this stuff really makes my heart sing. I love the look of it, I love the feel of it. It's just fun for me to collect. You know, these are these are wonderful pieces. I will always have these very cool bars. I mean, it's just one of those things. It's such an art. And copper is going up, guys. Copper is going nowhere but up. If you can get a deal, get some. But the art and collectability of copper is just as high as silver. It honestly is. There is enough people and enough of a community out there they're collecting this stuff. People love this stuff. I love this stuff. And one of the best parts is I can leave it out on my tabletops. You know, this is decorations around the house. 
Hey, thanks for listening to me ramble on. TGIF, if you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe. Smash the like button below. Have a great weekend, you guys. Remember, get that copper, get that silver, get that gold. It's uh, You don't know when it's just not going to be there. Pirate out. <laughs>